Hello, my name is John Engel uh, with the Alabama Urban Forestry Association Training Series. Today we're going to be talking about knots. Knots that we use in the tree and on the ground. Uh, and these are just going to be the most important standard knots. Uh, one of the first knots I want to show you is called a bowline. This knot is used if you're, let's say you're going to throw a rope in a tree and fall the tree. And you can't get a clear path back to the crown of the tree with your rope so you have to tie it on the ground because there's limbs in the way. So a bowline goes like this. On the standard bowline, on the long end, like I say, you make a loop, look at your knuckles, and turn the only way you can turn. Make a loop so the line going down is in the front because you want to bind these two ropes together. Take your short end, you come out of the hole, you run up around that line, back down through the hole, you pull these two, this one, and you set it. The, it will not move, that's why it's called a standard bowline. Let's do that one more time, real slow. Okay, this is the long end of the rope. We're gonna twist to where this is in front. We're taking the short end or the working end. We're gonna come out of this hole. We're gonna come up around that line, back down through the hole, pull these two and pull the top one and tighten it up. And that is the bow line. Next, we're going to show you the running bow line. If you throw your rope up in the top of the tree, you're going to fall the tree and you have a clear path to cinch your rope up to the crown. The running bow line goes like this. Take the short end of the rope, come around like you're making a clamp or a loop. You don't need to touch this one anymore. So you want to grab this with your knuckles. So the only way you can turn is that way because unless you're double jointed. So you turn this way. The short end of the rope comes out of the hole, up around the line, back down in the hole, and then you pull the bottom two and the top two, tie, dress, and set, you cinch it up. You'll notice the figure eight, that tells you you got it right, and this is the running bow line. I'm gonna do it really slow. Around the main line, you loop, you come out of the hole, you run up around this line, back down in the hole, pull these two in that one. Cinch it up, and that's used for falling trees. It's used for, I'm gonna say, 90% of our rigging as a climber. When we rig a limb, this is what we rig, okay? So that's the bow line and the running bow line. The next rope we're gonna do is called a sheet bend. Now a sheet bend can be used for attaching two ropes together. But what we use it for a lot in the tree industry is if a climber needs a rope, this is the climbing rope, and notice it's a different color. And if the climber says he needs you to send him a hand line or a tag line, well then what you do to tie the sheet bend is we take one rope and we loop just like we did on the bowing. This line goes down, it's gonna bind this line, same thing, you come out of the hole you roll, go up around that one and back down through your hole and then you tighten them up. This is called the sheet bend. Sheet bend. We'll do it one more time. This knot is used for joining two ropes together or sending another rope up into the tree. You take one rope, you make a loop, you bring the other rope through, around that line, back down through the hole, pull these two, pull the top one, set it, and it's ready to go. Uh, another way to join your two ropes together, but this uh, knot that I'm gonna tell you about next is really hard to get out if you put much weight on it. This knot is called the double fisherman's knot, or the double fisherman's loop. Joining two ropes together, but remember, if you use this knot, it's not gonna come apart real easy. And if it gets any weight on it, you almost have to screwdriver and a hammer to get it, get it apart. Take your two ropes, put them together. You wanna to come around one time, around two times, come back under this rope that you're rigging with, run it back up through, then turn it around and come this way. The same thing, you make one loop, two loops, come back around the back side, come back through, Pull these two together, that's called a double fisherman's loop. 
Uh, that's a really good rope for tying and joining a prusik. This is a prusik loop. We use these for foot locking. It was uh, a, just a carmanal cord. I cut it six foot long, and then I use a double fisherman's loop to join the cord together. That's not coming out. And I put tape on both ends of the loose part of the rope. Double fisherman's loop is great for tying a prusik.